Hi everyone, this is Judy from Judy's Handmade Creation. If you haven't already subscribed, do so. This channel is all about crafts and creating different things with different tools. And today I'll be doing an unboxing and a review on the Martha Stewart Crafts DIY Weaver Starters Kit. And this kit has 171 pieces. And it says... I don't know if you can see at the bottom, creates wall hangings, tapestry, war, woven, woven sh shapes and scenes, pom-poms, tassels, and more. So this can create pom-poms and tassels. And then on the back it tells you, it says it's, it's, um, this is perfect for beginners. It's an innovative loom based in movable pegs. Makes it easy to weave fun shapes and create woven pictures. The embellement pegs are designed to create pom-poms, fringe, and flowers. So they got the longer ones to create pom-poms, fringe, and flowers. So you can create that with this tool. If you like to make pom-poms, tassels, fringes, and flowers. And it says it comes the contents in here comes with one loom, 150 standard pegs, 15 embellishment pegs, and it comes with one loom right there, 150 of these purple pegs, and 15 of the longer embellishment pegs, a shuttle, shuttle, one needle weaver, one tape street needle one comb and one instruction book and I received this and to do a review and unboxing and I'm gonna do I'm gonna get my scissors I'm gonna open it I'm gonna try to make this quick and try to create a project with it a small one So if you like to make tassels or pom-poms or flowers, small projects like that, that'd be good. Or if you make to, like to make like wall hangings. Let me flip it because others. Okay, I'll put that right there so I can look at it. Okay, it comes with, like it said, Let me open it up. Okay, it comes with a loom. This is a loom. I like it because you can make your project big or small. You can move. It's not like the regular looms that only have it on the ends. This has the pegs everywhere. So it comes with 100, 150 of these standard pegs. And these are the ones that pop into here. Let's see how easy they are. You have to pinch them together to get them out. See there? This is what creates your designs on here. And it says it comes with 15 embellishment pegs. So that would be these here. You get 15 of these. Just create your embellishments like pom poms. Fringe and flowers and tassels. Comes with 15 of these embellishment pegs, and it comes with one comb. I'm gonna put these back. Well, let me go. Just leave them up here. So you see what you get with it. And it comes with. In here, it comes with a. I guess this would be the um the shuttle. I guess if that's gonna be a like um if you're gonna do a wall hanging, you gotta go in between the yarn. And this is a needle weaver. If you gotta go in between your yarn, 
That's a smaller one, and then it comes with a tape string needle. And it comes with the and DIY starter kit instruction book. This here. And then it tells you how to tells you all what you get. And this it says getting started, how you insert your pegs, how you warp your loom with your yarn. And weave the width. So this is when you're going, after you warp it, you're going in and out, weaving your thread through it, like that there. And step four is these are other techniques that you can use. And this is how you finish it off, you weaving. And here's some of the projects that they have that you can make. Wall hanging, owl, heart pillow and the pom pom reef and that's some of the ideas and you can go on their website and see how to do them um, projects so I'm going to put this back in here and then I'm going to try to do a small project I think I'm going to use two of these for embellishment. I'm going to try to make a tassel with it. Something easy, not nothing. It's going to take a long time, like a wall hanger or something like that. And then if you want your project to be bigger, I also received them. Um, This hooks on to this if you want to make it a, like a scarf or like a longer purse or longer wall hanging. This is the DIY extender. And you get 54 pieces in here. You get the pegs here, the same pegs that you got in here. You get this here to make it longer. And you get the things. These here is the um, joiner. So you can join two of these together to make it longer. So this is the extenditure. Extender. 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 And this shows you some of the projects that you make. Scarf, longer wall hanging, a little bag. So that's if you want to hook it. Oops, sorry, that's if you want to hook it together and make a longer project. But this is the starter kit here, and I'm going to try to make a tassel. So you put these down in here. I'm going to make a long tassel. And you just poke them down in here. I guess something's in there. Okay, and since Memorial Day's next, I'm going to use red, white, and blue. I'm going to use my scrap yarn that I got here. I'm going to move that out of the way. So these are the, these are the embellishment tags. If you want to make um, tassel fringe for flowers or pom poms, so that's what these would be used for. And I got a lot of scrap, scrap yarn that I had from Project. I will be making tassels, not pom poms. I know I keep saying pom poms in here, but these are tassels. So that's why I'm making tassels. Red, white, and blue. So I guess you would just start like this and just wrap it until you get as much as you want on there. How thick you want your You can make your be. tassel as thick as you want. And this can use up a lot of my scrap yarn that I got. And just wrap it until you get it as big as you want.
I'm going to make this one pretty thick. This is going to be a, I mean, this is going to be a tassel. I hope I didn't say a pom-pom, but this is going to be a tassel. Just make it as thick as you want. Just keep wrapping. I think that's going to be thick enough. I'm going to make it. And I'm just going to cut it down at the end. Down here. And then I'm going to take something and tie it up there. I'm going to put this in up here so it'll be easy to keep it together. I'm going to add this for like a hanger up there. I'm just tie it down like that so if I want to adjust it, I'm going to make it even. If I can make a pretty nice pom pom with this Martha Stewart DIY Weaver, okay, I'm gonna just leave it like that. And I'm gonna take another and tie it around it, around here. I'm just gonna cut it and then tie it around there. This is going to be the top, but this is the top of the tassel. I'm going to wrap this around a few times. Should have maybe should have left it a little longer, but let's wrap it around and tie it. I'm going to wrap this one around the other way and then tie it. I'm going to tie it in a double knot so it won't come undone. And if you want to, you can put some glue back here to make sure it don't come undone. A tap of glue. I'm going to double tie it. There we go. I think I might put a tab of crazy glue on it. I'll be right back. I'm going to get the glue out. I'm just going to put a tap of glue right here on the knot. Okay, that's super glue. And then I gotta tie that. I'm just gonna cut this down because I don't want it sticking up. That's going to be okay. That's going to be the back of the tassel. And then we're going to cut this here. I'm going to just take my tassel off. Oh, that's going to be a thick tassel. And then you're going to take and Get all your strands like it's going to be like that, that you know you're going to be able to cut it. Make sure you cut them. Take your scissors and cut it. Make it like a tassel. Make sure you cut them all. 
I mean, you can even them up. See where I left them long ones? You can just go down to the bottom of it. I'll usually just pull it down like that and then just cut the ends up pretty good. Like even them up. And there's one little, let me get that old piece that I didn't cut, that I didn't see. Just even the tassel up, make it look nice on the end. I ain't gonna even them, but there's a... There's a tassel, and it's pretty, pretty strong too. If you want to, you can make this into like a keychain, or if you got key rings. I think I got a couple key rings over here. I probably could use. Probably could use a um. make it into a key ring or you can make a whole bunch of these and make it into a wall banner or you could let me get this off my table this this just drives me crazy these are key rings you probably could put this on here and use it as a key ring. Right, let me get. I got a split ring in here. Mm. Here's my my little jewelry box here. Let me see if I got a split ring in here, a bigger one. I did have some bigger split rings. You can use one of these split rings here and attach it on this one. But you will need some tools to do that. And I got a whole bag of jewelry tools here. Okay, you can take it on and make it into a key ring. You will need a split ring. Yeah, split ring where you put your keys, and you would need a what is this called? And this is a split. This is a uh, 12 mm split ring. So you can put this on, slide this on here. Or I guess we have to put it on. But we really don't need that. We can just put the this ring on here because you won't need you won't have to buy two you want to make them in the key rings so just buy the bigger split rings here and just slide it on take your tool I don't know if I got a tool to split it open let me see let me 
to pick up here. I think I have a split ring tool in here. Oh yeah, that one. And I got this split ring tool because I did make a lot of jewelry for people. This is called a split ring plier that I'm using. I had just purchased this because I had so much trouble opening these up. And I gotta figure out how to do it. See, and it opens it up like that. And this opens it up so you can slide your um no, that's the way I'm going to open it. You can slide that on there. Slide it on there like that. And then just move your split ring plier and just go around. Just make sure you tie your knot back. And put glue on it. That way to hold it good so it won't come undone. Earth. I'm going to put glue on there. Or you can make a patriotic pom pom banner. And make a whole bunch of pom poms with this. Or just make key rings and give the people for 4th of July or whatever. I tie it a couple times so it don't come undone and then put some glue on it. I think my glue would need to be unclogged. Looks like it's got. I know I shouldn't use my scissors, but. Let me see. Put a tip of glue on it. Still not coming out. Let me get a needle. To get that unclogged so I can put put some glue on it. I don't know what I did with my um needles. I use one of these needles here. I got too much stuff I can't keep up with it. Okay, I got make sure you don't get this glue on your hands. And put you some glue on it. That way you know it'll stay where you tied it in a knot. And then you just cut that off. And you have a nice little key ring holder. And that's one thing you can make with this. You can make bigger tassels in this. You can make, make them smaller. All you got to do is move your peg up and down how big you want it. And there's a keychain tassel that I made with this tool. Let me put this up because I don't want to lose it. Yeah, that's a that's a project you can make. And maybe the next time I'll make some pom poms, but I'm trying to make it short. I'm not gonna make it too long because And you can trim up if you don't think you got it the way you want. Trim it up a lot. Oh, I'm using the wrong thing. This is the... I thought that was my scissors. And it's the... Let me put this up. Because this is... I'm going to put it back in here. I had just purchased this. Because I didn't... Like I said, I didn't have nothing open. I'm jump rings up. Oh, my scrap. I'll use that later. And my jump rings. I got a lot of tools to make jewelry with. And yeah, this is a nice project that you can make with this. You can make flowers, tassels, um, pom poms, fringes, little small projects, and you can make bigger projects on it too. See, that's what I made right here.
and you can make a um tassel banner to uh, uh, a pom-pom banner if you would like to make one of those but this is a patriotic thing since Memorial Day is next and this is a keychain now put your keys on there it's pretty sturdy and that was made with Martha Stewart DIY Weaver thanks for watching I hope you like my review and unboxing of the Martha Stewart DIY Weaver if you haven't already if you haven't already done so subscribe and like and thank you for watching as always I appreciate it bye bye